hello everyone and thank you for coming back to the channel and honey baby i was on twitter and i was just looking around for stories to tell and you know i like to talk about things and people and celebrities and you know i can you know why are you telling my business don't be telling my business why not because i can can and it can can it can can it can can and i will now it's this new show coming out something similar to um what is it, the voice uh american idol and it's going to be hosted none other than snoop dog and kelly clarkston yes it's an nbc station program um don't look like um simon kyle has anything to do with it or not sorry for that blurred picture i thought it was gonna come out a little better but okay anyway we got some more we got some more pictures of him but yeah snoop Dogg. this is his year 2022 is coming out loud and in charge and and, and in power i'm like golly First it was Martha Stewart. Now he dipping and dabbing with Kelly Clarkston. And you know she was the American Idol winner way back sometime. I can't even remember. Um, her and Fantasia was the only one I really cared about. The rest of them suck. But yeah. I mean Snoop Dogg done went. He, he done became a brand name now honey. He making commercials. He got his own liquor. He got his own wine. He messing with Martha Stewart. Did I say that? No, he's hosting with Martha Stewart is what I meant to say. Yeah. Girl, you think they sleeping around with each other? Oh, that's me again. Strike that from the record. <laughs> but yes, he has become definitely a household name. And I mean, not just for the rap game. He has his own podcast. I think he still coaches Little League. Um, when his son was in high school, I think he has a, a Little League team that he coaches for. He's serving his community well. And, you know, just a lot of things are coming up for him. We know he lost his mama recently. And I hope there wasn't a ritual or nothing like that. But, you know, people on the streets are talking. Because Snoop Dogg is coming up. He ain't just known for the rap game no more. Man, he's going to have tennis shoes, sneakers. Um, the same thing, ain't it? He's going to probably have some sheep bed sheets out the wild some comforters i don't know and he did buy out death row remember that was sure Knight? uh little uh it wasn't little i guess um his uh, record company or um uh, studio company however y'all get down and say it i'm not really sure but um snoop Dogg acquired that back under his name but i'm like woo. Well, shoot, and I feel about that. I'm pretty sure he don't care because he liked the Snoop Dogg anyway. And Snoop Dogg, Tupac, Dr. Dre. Uh, I can't remember who else was under his label, record label, uh, at the time when Shook Knight was, uh, you know, taking it on his own belt and tutelage and stuff of that nature. But that joke was rough. And, you know, uh, Marion played some uh, football back in the day. So, wasn't nobody trying to mess with him. And I know he didn't like P. Diddy, which I, that's why I kind of don't like P. Diddy either. Um, but it just is what it is. But yeah, Snoop is climbing the ropes. I'm like, good God, any rituals going on? You need to tell us about Snoop. Oh, is this all you, boy? Is this all you? And we finally taking a notice about you. Because I'm telling you, Super Bowl was really Snoop Dogg's cup of tea. Dre did his thing. Eminem did his thing. 50 Cent did his thing. But, you know, all of them were kind of like back in the day. You know, Dr. Dre went all the black and stuff like he used to wear. And Mary J. Blige is just Mary J. Blige. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? She do that drunk dance and everybody just fall on out, out the floor and stuff. But, you know, she did her little thing, whatever. But Snoop Dogg, I mean, who can smoke a joint? And still get out there and perform. Do the crip walk. Da 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 da. You know what I'm saying? Me and Snoop Dogg. Blah, blah, blah. Yes, honey. Yes. I got off on that. I like, ooh, I like that. Now that's a Super Bowl. That's a Super Bowl <sighs> experience. You know what I'm saying? It's like something you're used to seeing, but he brought it out on stage. I mean, he had the drop back cars with them trying to go up and down with the hydraulics going up and down and stuff he had the uh dancers on on fleet i mean they were all just perfect and unisons every little block you were looking at it was like staged like a little house a little jerk you know they're trying to make it look like a street in this, what i'm trying to say and i'm like okay now see that's what super bowl bowl was like not all this other stuff where you just gyrating and all that kind of stuff it brought back where it should have been always been at 
you know, he brought it back to the day. Oh, Lord, that was a good Super Bowl. I, I didn't watch because I didn't watch Super Bowl. I forgot what I was doing. I think I was watching Ozark with um, um my son and my daughter um downstairs we were just watching that chilling out but you know i had to be messy i had to be messy i'm like so why are you coming up you coming up you suppressing dr dre eminem and all them little cats i said this was snoop dogg's night what it was it wasn't nobody's night but snoop dogg it was super bowl snoop dogg that's all i could see snoop dogg name and lights big fireworks uh pyrotechnic stuff going off in the background because it was really him i'm not gonna lie he was nice nicely dressed he was doing a little quilt wall you know giving paying homage to his uh, team and stuff um and uh i don't know it was a spectacular and i hadn't seen i hadn't said that in a very 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 long time Oh, I didn't check to see if any rituals were going out there, but I was just looking at, you know, the dance and that, just listen to the music and the beat. Kind of makes you want to get up on your feet and a little, do, do a little crit walk yourself, you know what I'm saying? Those who could do it, you know what I'm saying? But he was fit. He was straight. He was doing him. He was in his element, and it was his night. Child, but yes, uh, Snoop Dogg done, uh, got with some more, um, uh, Caucasian people, honey, and he doing his thing. He coming up, all right, on his own name, not affiliated with Dr. Dre, Eminem, you know, and the other cats back in the day. It's just Snoop Dogg, you know what I'm saying? Everybody like they saw a little Snoop Dogg um, here and there. And uh, him and Kelly Clarkson is supposed to be uh, spearheading or co-hosting this new show, uh, called American Song Contest. I don't know nothing about it. Just heard about it. Just looking on my Twitter. And Kelly Clarkson was um, tweeting it off of her platform. Or her Twitter page. Saying, you know, it's going to be fun. She can't wait for it to premiere. It's supposed to premiere on NBC on March 21st. It's a live type thing. So, uh, I guess we all need to tune in and see what's going on. I hope it ain't like America either, but it seems like it's going to mimic it in some shape, form, or fashion. And uh, I don't know if, if it, you know, it seems like it's a European show that they started over there in Europe somewhere. And um, they're branching it off. You know, Simon Cowell used to do stuff like that in the UK. He used to have stuff, and then he used to bring it back mainstream uh, for the American people over here. And uh, try to do something. He named it America Idol or whatever. But like I said, I don't think he's behind it. Or he may be affiliated with it in some form or fashion. Um, but I don't think he's going to be the person sitting in the judging chair, I guess. Uh, like he did on American Idol. So, I don't know. I'm like, are we ready for another one of those? Because we have the voice. We have uh, the unmasked singer. We, we, you know, I mean, it's too much, you know. And... Are they really good in getting good record contracts with good labels? You know, it ain't this thing where it's a 360 contract where they say it ain't never full of shit. And, you know, if you sign it, you ain't going to make no money. The first five years you with them or six years, seven years, I don't know how it go or whatnot. I just heard the 360 deal is just a the, the most awful deal you could get being a newcomer to the block. Um, So I'm not really sure. But I'm like... <sighs> My boy Snoop is just grinding out there. He's becoming a household name. And he's a rapper. He's affiliated with a gang. He's crip walking everywhere. He He's coming in your home with wine and, and beer and vodka. <laughs> I'm like, everywhere Snoop Dogg. Next time I'm going to see him in Walmart with some t-shirts that says Snoop Dogg. You know what I'm saying? It might even have its own little uh, little dog, you know what I'm saying, and a dog pound, little figurines and stuff of that nature. I know they had it around Christmas time. Somebody was selling it, and he had to put out a cease and desist letter to them because they weren't, couldn't hear me in on none of the money or the profits or anything of that nature. They didn't approach him. You know, he's a businessman. You got to do things like that, uh, and especially if it's being lucrative for somebody else and they're using your likeness. Yeah, you need to have your man, your your, your hands all up in there. So, I'm just, oh, my goodness. I'm like, go on and get your revenue. Next time we're going to hear before the end of the year, Snoop is a billionaire. <laughs> He's on Forbes 
uh, 500 businessman list. I, I, will he ever dress in a suit and stay in a suit? I think not. <laughs> <laughs> That's not his motif. Now he can get dressed up and, and look very, very presentable, but he like his casual wear, you know. And I don't think he would probably be a part with with anybody or anything if he couldn't have his weed, you know, in one of his hands. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody say, uh, well, most people, I won't say everybody, that were following his circle. Man, you got to have a strong will and, and stamina to be smoking with Snoop Dogg. Because when he do that puff, puff, pass, pass, it just seems like that's an eight-hour thing and in rotation. And you fall out before he fall out. <laughs> because he's been doing it for so long. And he probably growing his own stash, too, as well. So, salute. To Snoop Dogg and all his endeavors that he's definitely shaking and moving out there in the industry and conquering in and everything he can get his hands on so he can leave a lot. Uh, he can enjoy himself while he's here and he can leave a lot to his um, uh, family members of his legacy and they can continue to do, do make it do what it do. And I know Shantae brought us. His wife ain't mad at all. I know she because she's his manager and she probably like, woo look at here look at look at look at here come cooking we got some more bank to go in the bank that we already got like before we know it, we're gonna see uh snoop enterprises come get along <laughs> he's gonna have his own currency and own banking establishment but go ahead snoop i ain't got nothing little but love for you man i ain't got nothing for, but love for you i'm still trying to learn how to do that crit walk but uh that's all I got, y'all, for this video. Enjoy it. Get down in them comments. Tell me what y'all thought about the Super Bowl. Uh, well, not necessarily the Super Bowl itself, part, you know, as far as the football playing, but the halftime show. Well, did y'all, did it make y'all want to get up and dance, too? Did it you make you want to shake a tail feather thinking you could quit walk with Snoop when he was doing all that? Or did it mess up your arthritis? <laughs> did it make your arthritis come in your hands and, and in your feet when you're trying to do the quit walk? Ooh, child. I tell y'all the truth. I laughed my ass off. But, I mean, it was a very, very good show. I was very impressed. It brought me back to the day when we were listening to Tupac, Biggie. And they were just giving us something to croon to at house parties. Or you go to the club or whatnot. And you hear the music playing. Or you at cookouts. You hear your, the music playing. It just take you into another whole happy, good feel kind of, you know, mood is what I'm trying to say. But, yep, that's all I had to do. That's all I had to be a little messy here and there. But hopefully y'all enjoyed the video. Y'all get down in them comments. Dialogue with me. Let me know what y'all thought about Snoop Dogg coming up. This new American Song Contest that he's a part of with Kelly Clarkson. Um, if you want to talk about him and Martha Stewart getting money up hand over fist. Or the Super Bowl. Uh, halftime performance. Let me know what was your favorite uh entity in that show was it snoop Dogg? was it dr dre was it eminem was it uh what's his name uh shoot i almost forgot about him 50 cent you know what i'm saying he didn't really like he wanted to give it all like he didn't really want to be there or something but he just did what it is and of course mary j blige but i will see y'all later all right bye bye